Welcome to another Unturned video. In today's video, we're going to join an escalation server and we're going to build in a tunnel. This tunnel is very close to the most action-packed locations on the map and this video is full of PvP. If you guys enjoyed this video and want part 2 where we continue on the server, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. Also, if it is your first time here, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe since it helps the channel grow a ton. In the last video, I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching this and you want to claim a prize, please join my Discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a steampunk red Hawaii tea. If you want to win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and if you are a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning. In my discord currently you can get a free skin just by participating in a very short event so make sure to join today as well. Alright boys just joined escalation. I have absolutely nothing on the server. I am brand new. There are a bunch of people on as well. And we got ourselves a gun. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to try to actually build in a pretty interesting location. Around the map there are like small areas that you can build. For example, there's a tunnel and then there's a sewer and all of that. And today we're going to build in the tunnel. If we actually build it well enough, it can be very strong to not get raided. I'm not gonna be alone either. Today we're gonna be a, a, a group. And then obviously after that we'll try to get ourselves as much raise and PvP as possible. The tunnel is very very close to Parkwood, so that means that it's going. You know, we're gonna hear a lot of shots going on. There's going to be non-stop PvP. So hopefully we'll get ourselves uh, a good run today. That would be really really good if we do. But first things first is I'm gonna try to get myself as much access as possible for my team. So that we can just start building the base and then we'll probably start roaming around. Doing dead zone runs, getting as much loot, killing everyone. Hopefully we won't get raided, that's really the, the main thing. Obviously we need to farm all of the items for adhesives. Because we, we don't have anything. Server has no kits, has no vault, it's just a normal semi vanilla server. But I, I think it's like 5 times loot. So yeah, we'll see what we'll get into. Yeah, there's shots going on over at Parkwood obviously. We're looting this military place, trying to get as much guns as possible. Sounds like a pistol, but you could just be farming zombies. So you may have something good and may bring other people over there too. I really hope that the tunnel actually is not built. Because if someone already built into it, I'm gonna be uh, a bit upset. So let's just hope it isn't. But we'll focus on that uh, later. Let's just try to get ourselves some, some good loot first. I'm gonna need to get ourselves some metal as well for a door and all of that. Yeah, we're getting closer to the shots. Yeah, hit him. Hit him again. There we go, he's dead. Oh, that's not even him shooting. Oh yeah, bro had an Ulfbert. Alright, we'll take that. I'll switch to Uzi. It's much better gun. Yeah, there's cuts going on over here. Yeah, I hear- Oh, yeah, I see him. There we go, they're dead. Alright, there we go. Yeah, ECS. Alright, not bad. Oh, they're shot. Oh, I killed one. Okay, well, there was, um, multiple people. There were, like, five people over there. Jesus. Alright, we'll go back. Kind of unfortunate timing. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are still there. Hit him. Where's bro going? Hit him, hit it. Oh, there we go. He's dead. I don't know if that was the last guy still alive. All right, let's med up. Let's get... Stop the bleeding. Let's take that gun. Hey, right, there's a bunch of loot on the floor. That's pretty nice. We'll take the car batteries. That's easy chemicals. Yeah, let's just take a... Yeah, this is all my loot. It's still here. Can make a lot of beds from this as well. So, let's just salvage as much as possible. Let's take the glow, duct tape, circuit board, coffee filters. This is a... Pretty good start, actually. Got it all from PvP. Alright, so now I think we should just get out of here and start working on base so that we can depot all of this stuff, especially the fact that now we have adhesive stuff. We can literally make adhesive right now. And multiple of them as well. Let's so we just make some beds. There we go. The rest make it into meds. Alright, nice. Very good start. Some shots going on again. Oh, yeah, shot. I think he's just killing zombies, though. We'll take the cams. Steely as well. There's a truck over here. Oh yeah, there's PvP going on. I think someone is close to me as well. Let's take that gun. Right, helmet and the shotgun. Oh yeah, there's some stuff. Dude, I think my yeah, some of my teammates died. Where did bro come from? Oh my god, there's no way I just died to a pistol. I accidentally screenshot it too. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. 
Point hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so what? Oh, there we go. He just got destroyed. Dude, all my loot is still here. The guy that killed me, I guess he just died to this green skin. Yeah, everything is literally still here. Perfect. All right, let's take all of the loot. We really need to get out of here and just go build the base. Because right now we cannot depot it anywhere. We're just running around trying not to die and lose everything. Oh, there's a long... Oh, there's... What? Where did bro... Yeah, this was the same dude I just killed. He came back. He got blasted with that shotgun. Well, what? Bro, I already... There we go. He's dead. I had to shoot him twice. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got a gun crate. Imagine that gives us an acid. That would be so good, actually. Alright, so we did manage to uh, escape and the tunnel that we want to build in is actually untouched. So we're gonna we're gonna build. We're gonna take them all over. Basically what we're gonna do is just we're gonna have to place floors over everything and then place a doorway at the very sides. One of them we could literally just close it off. It's gonna look pretty nice actually. You know, put the doorway there. And then we could put a wall above. Then from here we would just be able to close them like this. But we're gonna need uh, a bit of wood for this. It's not gonna just take one by one. It's gonna take a little bit. Alright, so let's just put the beds as well. Yeah, for a door we need springs so we could just salvage a gun. And then we'll salvage the parts. And it'll give us springs. And there we go, we got ourselves a metal door. Oh nice, my teammate got me some wood as well. That's really good. We're literally right under Parkwood as well. Every shot we hear is probably at Parkwood. Alright, so we can just seal this off. Alright, so for the server, we would need to place a generator or else the base would just decay. Now we're gonna have to make some crates. But first, we should actually seal this part off. We're gonna have to salvage this. There's somebody outside. Yeah, we could just put that wall over there. Alright, there we go. It's placed well. Alright, so let's see what we get from this gun crate, actually. And we got a sensor. Okay. Well, it could have been better, but whatever. At least we got ourselves some storage. Alright, let's unstack the stack as well. And we can make ourselves some small crates for now. We can just make larger ones later on. Right now, I just need somewhere to store the load. Let's put everything up. Oh, he's... I think he's... Yeah, he upgraded. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade everything later on, obviously. We may even just try to do it into full metal if we get ourselves a blasting forge. But they'll come later, obviously. Let's put extra guns over here. Let's refill our mags. And let's go try to get ourselves some loot. All right, so we actually got an airdrop grenade, so we're gonna bit go a bit further and pop it. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves uh, some good loot. If we get filters or C4, that would be really, really nice. Thing is, this may actually bring some people around, so hopefully it won't. Yeah, we could drop it right over here. Let's hope we get something good, man. C4 or filters, I'll be really happy. All right, airdrop landed. Uh, C okay, not bad. C4, got ourselves a gun crate, bunch of guns. All right, we homed. It could have been better, but it could have been worse, definitely. Now right, we can make a large crate. I'll we'll just put it right over there. Let's see what we get from this gun crate now as well. Oh, we got a compact, okay. At least you get full attachments when you get a gun crate like that, so you can always just change around if you really want to. All right, we'll put this right over here. Right, I can't put it. Right, let's just put it right over there. Put the compact asset. Put that mag as well. Got ourselves a regen stim, so. Well, there's a lot of shots going on. It's right over here. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna try to kill him. There's so many loot piles around. There, one guy dead. Where's bro going? Second guy dead. I think they're all... I think that they should be all cleared. Oh yeah, we got ourselves another asset. It's pretty nice. Somebody's in a car. I don't know if that's my teammate. I don't think so. Oh, I'm getting sniped at. Oh, this is terrible. Let's just go inside. There's another loot pile right in here, so... Bro, so many so many people died here, man. Oh, there's two inhalers. It's not really gonna stop my bleeding, but... Let's just salvage that backpack. Uh, we got ourselves some pants and a cold belt. We'll take that. This room is always open. Alright, let's see what this loot pile is. 
Oh, it looks like somebody died with a sniper here. A bunch of mechanical stuff. Even more mechanic stuff. We're gonna salvage everything. Like, those gauze cans give us four plastic each. It's very nice. Let's salvage the wrenches, pry bar, cleaver, stack them. There we go. Yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of plastic from that. Damn. All right, nice. Very nice. Yeah, I home. Then let's just depot. Let's turn this on. I don't know. We could put the chair over there. All right, so from that ingot, maybe. Yeah, I don't have enough. Never mind. Thought I could make myself a stack, but... We can't. So I'm gonna take the scope out of the sniper and I'm actually gonna use it for my asset. I think that would be very, very good. We got ourselves a blowtorch too as well. So that's another item for the toolbox that, that we already have. Oh, there's a guy in here. Oh yeah, he's right over there. There we go, he's down. Clear out the zombies. Still more coming, man. Alright, so bro didn't really have anything that good, yeah. He had a full firefighter outfit though, so that could be good, but... I don't know if we should keep it or salvage it for now. Oh, there's a dude coming over here. Where did bro go? Alright, there we go. He almost actually killed me. He was hitting them shots. And we'll take this. Some more shots going on. Another dude there. Where is bro going? How is he not dead? Oh, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> he died to a zombie. And we'll take all of this. Very nice loads. Alright, so we're going to try to get canteens. That's the next thing we need to actually make. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's people over there. Oh, there's their gears, bro. How is he not dead? Okay, one of them is dead. Where's bro? Oh, there he is. There we go. They're both dead. And they are stacked. Look at this. Oh, he had EOD. That's how I didn't kill him instantly. Oh, yeah. He has um nice suit. A bunch of high cal. We'll switch backpack. Let's see what the other guy had. Oh, he has a lease back. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's it. A bunch of ammo. Very nice. A bunch of high cal, so... Alright, so I did get the um, canteen that I came here for. I also got myself some chainsaw, so I'm gonna farm a bit of logs and we're gonna try to expand the base to another part of the tunnel. We'll try to take all three of them over, so let's just try to get ourselves the second part now, which I think is the biggest part. Over there, construction items spawn, literally like stuff for adhesives. So we'll have our own little two spawn nodes over there, which we can get glue, duct tape, chemicals. It's actually pretty nice that we can get them just from inside our base. It is one of the few locations on this map that you can actually build over. That is their spawn nodes over, basically. Bro, there's a lot of shots going on again. Let's see... Oh, there's a mega zombie. Oh, wait, what? It's right here. Wait, where's the dude? What? Wait, where's the guy shooting it? Oh, he's right here. All right, there we go. He's dead. He didn't even realize that <laughs> I was shooting at it as well. All right, let's see what bro... Oh, he had just an old bird. All right, let's take out the mega zombie, obviously. Oh, my God. All right, I need to reload. I don't even... Oh, yeah, I do have somewhere ammo. All right, there we go. It's dead. Let's take out the zombies. I have never killed a high loot mega zombie. Bro, there's so much loot. Oh, wait. All right, it's right over here. Yeah, it looks like just dead zone stuff, man. Oh, I'm getting shot at. I saw an airdrop grenade over there, too. I need to pick up as much item. I don't even know where I'm getting shot from, man. Where is he? I got the airdrop grenade, which is the important thing. Wait, he may have been shooting us from under us. We were, like, proning through or something. Oh, yeah, he's right over there. There we go, he's dead. He tried to blow up the car and kill us with it. The guy's in geared as well, actually. Oh, yeah, dude, he has um he had he had a machine gun box. I think there's more though. Yeah, let's take it. At least back asset. Yeah, we got the important stuff. Very good. Take the med bug, glow, coffee filters. Bro, car park action, man. I never really PvP'd on the car park before. It's kinda cool. Yeah, we homed. Alright, very nice. Alright, let's see what we get from this drop. We're getting ourselves a bunch of loot from PvP, man. It's actually really, really good. Yeah, it's gonna land. I, I popped it exactly at the same place we popped it last time because nobody really came over. The only problem is that our base location is close to a few spawns. So if somebody that's like has a 20 by 20 base and he dies and spawns there and knows that we live there, 
They may try to raid us, you know? Alright, well, we got another charge knocked. Air uh, asset. Not that bad. Pretty okay airdrop as well, like the first one that we got. Got ourselves another teammate. Now, this is our new teammate. He's usually much more of a base builder. So, I guess that's what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna be working on base a lot. Which is pretty nice. Our base is a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. It's just somewhere that we have, you know, a bunch of storage. No protection whatsoever. We only have one ourselves. The LDG poster is just somewhere that we have stored all of our loads. So, we probably have to try to make our base a little bit stronger, a little bit better. And for some reason here, we have an open hatch as well. Somebody could literally just walk straight in. Yeah, we just have to make a hatch. We just need a spring. So for that, we'll just salvage. There, there we go. Got ourselves a hatch. And there, we can just seal it off. Alright, it's finally time for a dead zone run. Let's hope we get something good. If I get airdrops from here, I'm happy. What's going on outside? If I get my... I just want to get myself the HMG components, Valkyrie. As much high cal as possible. The usual stuff. You know, the stuff we get from airdrops. If we get ourselves the high tech fuses as well, that would be pretty nice. So then maybe we can go to tier 2. And we got ourselves some assets. Cryogen, LTLM, LE specs. We'll take as much assets as possible because, you know, since we're a group, the more guns the better. Alright, let's take out this zombie. Oh yeah, I see high cal. Oh, airdrop grenade. There we go, perfect. Take night vision as well. Alright, let's pop that. There we go, beautiful. And HMG components. We got everything, so we can literally just get out of here. We still have a lot in our gas mask as well. So that we can make multiple more dead zone runs. Alright, so I just popped the uh, airdrop. Apparently, bro, this base is live as well. Nah, there is no way we just popped this airdrop. I think they're brand new though. And he's placing stuff in there. We're gonna try to raid them. We're gonna bring C4 over and we're gonna raid them. We can't let a live raid opportunity and not, and waste it. Not, just not raid them. We're gonna raid them right now. Wait, he's just he's inside. Just let's stop raiding. That's that's hilarious. Let's um let's see what the airdrop had. If it had a C4 in Detta, that would be great. But no, we got knocked. We got some ammo. Two knocks actually. And right, let's accept TPAs. Let's go home. There's a World War 3 going on outside my base. Let's get ourselves C4. Put all the knocks over here, the high cut grenades for the grenade launcher. Right now I'm gonna raid the base. I don't really care about people outside my base. Hopefully they won't raid us when we're gone though. Alright, C4 placed. There we go, we're through. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he died to the charge. Oh, bro doesn't even have anything. He had one crate. He had a long sword, some glue fabric. He has some posters. We'll take we'll take them. There we go. We'll take those. There's another crate here, an axe. Yeah, poor guy didn't have anything, man. Feels bad, but hey, insane base raid. Uh, let's see what's going on outside our base now. Let's place, place these paintings. We got ourselves dog as well. Put that one there. Uh, let's see what's going on outside. Thought there were people inside our base, but apparently not. They could technically get in. Yeah, there's nobody around. There's a dude there. He's dead, but he was just a naked. Alright, boys, and that is the end of episode 1. Now, in episode 2, we will continue with more action, more PvP, and chaos. So, I really hope that you guys are looking forward for part 2. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comment section below if you guys want part 2 as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.